Greetings, minions, survivalists, and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade playing Seven Days to Die Alpha 6, 17, 18, 19, 17.1, soon to be 17.2, and this is episode 14. So I got a lot of stuff done during the night, and uh, because the land claim blocks keep fudging every time I exit and load back in the game, um, I, I'm just going to start stacking them along here and use them as part of the wall structure. What the hell, you know? Because as soon as I leave this game, it's going to make them inactive, which I think is probably one of the dumbest things the Pump Pimps have done about that. But as you can see, I did run out of, of the uh, forged iron, but we had defenses all along here. A double layer up here around the house. And I got it all the way around. Got a little gap to get through. This is so I. These here are here are there so I don't miss the entrance. Because <laughs> knowing me, I'll end up running over there and right over the the traps and getting fudged. So not good. Um, yeah, and back here I accidentally started shoveling out. Um, one way when it was actually the other way so I just said screw it I ain't gonna cover this all up so double rows it is and it's probably better for double rows anyway um, yeah so I ended up uh, using the excess to wrap around the house and the garage here um, for some reason I think it's because of the, the um, those there are on that side of if this was a whole block it's on that face of the block so I can't put anything right in here for some reason. And same thing goes with inside. I put these inside because if I have to get up on this roof, there's bound to be zombies getting in here. And in fact, I'll probably block off just to be on the safe side. But if they did get in there, they're going to get munched up. So, yay. Oh, and I forgot to put, I put, put my wood in here. And, uh, yeah. I did that. I paid the stupidity tax right there. Alright, let's fix our problems all right we'll get these patched up now there was a refrigerator here and I stripped it down and put these up um, just because all right so we have a mostly empty inventory might as well go and do some looting I'm gonna take some of these. No, maybe not that many. I'll go like like that in case I need to fix this or this. But it'll be kind of a loot run, resource run type of thing. And I want to start off oh, this way. Um, I want to make sure that we looted out the uh, ski lodge thing. And I gained an extra love, another level um, during the night from all that shoveling. So I got two extra skill points, which I might do something about. Level 20, and I can't remember what mine is, and in like 5. Mmm. 
There you go. That'll make uh, gathering and picking up stuff a little easier. And I am picking up stones along the way just because of habit. <laughs> All right. All right. There's a lot of stuff in there, and I forgot to bring the shovel. Uh, we'll worry about that another time. This here is hopefully it's going to be more of, of a uh, XP run because I do want to get a bunch of fools dead so I can level up more. But I also want it to loot to get bullets and, and things like that. There we go. So I don't think we explored this place fully. Uh, let me check those out. can wrench them. That's weird. I just wonder if you get the experience of wrenching like a bed out of these. Eh. Doesn't seem like it. It's probably quicker just to axe them. That's untouched. I hear somebody creeping. Oh. I'm making a hell of a lot of noise. <laughs> Let's go bust some fools up. Okay, creepy crawler. Alright, no more unexpected uh, guests. Got everything there. 
did not. I don't think we we got everything out of here. Yeah. Ooh, some nice ammo, which I wanted. Ooh, got a grill. Those are picked clean. Alright, we'll get the bed in a minute here. Let's make sure we got that's kind of an awkward thing to have a, a toilet right out in the open to a bed. A little awkward. Boy, you gotta love the experience off these. It makes me imagine what it'd be like uh, to go into a hotel with all these. That would be sweet. Get a, a fair amount of uh, experience from the TVs. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, a lot of this I wasn't able to get to because zombies were all over my face. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> that's all that's in here, huh? Is that a nope rope attacking the, the building? Oh shit, there it is. <laughs> Boy, he's moving. But not anymore. Alright, let's get this safe. Never leave your doors open. If you don't want, you know, you don't want to have rattlesnakes crawling into your house. I don't know. The only there's only one rattlesnake where I live, and it's the uh, Massasauga rattlesnake, the northern rattle, rattlesnake, and they're so rare. I, I, there's only been one that I have seen my entire life. And it was at a, um, a, a nature camp when I was in fifth grade. A friend of mine almost stepped on it, and it was on the boardwalk uh, going out to this small lake. And it was a baby. It was only about, you know, about that long or so. And that's the only Michigan rattlesnake I've ever seen. Now, 
Now, you guys in Texas and Southwest and all that, you ha that's your own brand of problems right there. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you how rattlesnakes behave. You guys know. Here we are. Hoo hoo! Excellent. Look at all those bows. All right, let's get upstairs. up I'm gonna end up yeah I'm encumbered <laughs> well, let's see I thought I heard something there she is Purses and backpacks, I love it. Ain't gonna have much room for it, but I love it. Bodies, car bodies. A lot of scrap metal out there. But also a lot of potential for dogs. I don't like dogs. Not, not those dogs. Plus, I gotta go unload. glass and we'll take the cotton actually we'll do that Didn't do much, but it's something. So we'll just head back and see what's up. Dump off our, our goods and all of that.
So at least we got that building cleared out. Now we gotta figure out where to go next. And while he's whinging here. And it didn't even save the waypoint for up here. That and that sucks. It's like the the fun pimps cannot make an update that doesn't make you have to restart from scratch. I mean, they, they have, but... Eesh. And, it's, and that is not because of, of the um, swapping files from my old computer to this one. I'm pretty certain. Anyway. Okay. Guess a line. Sounds like doggies. get any pelts at least. Oh shit. That must have been the uh, the dog horde, a part of it. I can hear all the dogs in the distance. Let's test the, uh... Oh, almost went in there. Oh, crud.
that was exciting. And a pain in the ass. <laughs> Let's get up top. That was the most unsmart move I could have made, but it was also quite exciting. <laughs> Got one. <clears throat> Down to one friggin' life. Got that dog. Cool. And there it was. I thought there was only those two dogs. And I ended up getting walked right into an, another pack. Didn't even realize they're munching my butt. That was too close. Why am I not? There we go. It's going to take me a while to heal from that stuff. But yeah. The day before the uh, horde night, dog horde. There it was. Let's see, those guys were off. Where? Right here. I have to change my underwear after that. Anymore. I had to ask. There we go. I thought there were some dogs out this way, but they ran over that way. Let's get inside. Get ready for the next episode. Yeesh. Uh, let's see. Actually, I want those in there. And... Yeah. Get something to eat to kind of heal up after that. Uh... me up that much. Just e overeating and over drinking like crazy. Ugh, my legs are all cramped up. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah, so got those All right. Well, that was unexpectedly unexpectedly exciting. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, 
Check the links in the description box below. And until next time, whew, don't get eaten by a dog. See you later, Twitch. Twitch. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.